Hi guys, welcome to this week's tutorial from Tafrox HQ. Before I get on with this project today, if you could hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell, I'd really appreciate that very much. This week I wanted to give you something a little different. We've done bumblebees, we've done ladybirds. This week, as you saw from the screen on the front, we have a mushroom fairy garden. Now you can bling these up as much as you like. You can leave them nice and plain and simple or you can add loads and loads of glittery bits and put them in your garden. So less of the waffling from me, thankfully, and let's get right on with this project. The size of the dome of your mushroom will be dictated mostly by the shape on your rock. So I've picked one that's pretty domed on the top of the rock anyway. And I'm going to just start right here. Just in case you're wondering, I do prepare my rocks with a pencil first and go over it in white so you guys can see it better. Now I know I'm going to lose pretty much most of the inside outline here because I'm off to give this a bit of an undercoat. Before I paint the top, I'm going to be painting these two pieces first. So this is going to be a lighter colour, a darker colour and then white. some lines and some outline on here now. I'm going to leave the line around the red only because at this moment in time my red isn't completely dry. So I'm just going to add some mushroom lines here. The reason why I left the lines on the bottom is because I want to put a little door. So I'm just going to sketch in a big archway for a door and paint that in the darkest brown that I can find. What I'm also going to do now is a little window. I'll leave that to dry for a bit. Whilst I'm waiting for these other bits to dry now, I'm going to put some white spots on my mushroom. You can do them as big or as small as you like. And even though I'm using a paint pen, you can use a fine paintbrush. Right, it wasn't in my plan, but you saw just now that I made a bit, a bit of a mess here. So I'm just going to draw in a little chimney pot. So our little mushroom is nice and dry. I'm just going to go around the door. What I'm also going to do is split the door in half. Put some fine lines. 
to give the impression that it's wood. On this side I'm going to put a big door handle. Here I'm going to put some extra lines or hinges. Now that that's done we can finally do the bottom. around the window. You can if you want go around all your dots for an outline but I don't think I'm going to do that. What I will do is have a look at any spaces that my dots have gone over the black line on and put them back. This is a bit I made a mess on earlier. Now we're just going to add some Nice stuff. Let's add some blades of grass. I'm going to be very careful and not go over where the door is because that's not dry yet. But I'm going to go as close as I can. Turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. On this side. On this bit, or this side, any side, you can choose which one. I'm going to put a long green line. Put some little bits coming up on the side. Over this side, put some longer bits of grass and maybe a piece here five little dots around the middle piece and that's all I'm doing for them then where I put the, the green line One of these white dots is now going to be a flower. I'm not too happy with this door, it's a bit too dark. So I'm just going to use just a lighter shade of brown to put some lines on it. I love this little thing. I have done so many little mushrooms in Fairy Garden. It's unbelievable. I love this one. Yeah, sure. I made a mistake, but hey, that looks like a little bit of cloud. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to help this channel grow and support the channel, please consider sponsoring us using any of the links in the description box below. So there's not much room left in this video for me. Oh, that was really awful. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, keep on rocking.